Section 1. The power of a strong introduction. A strong introduction is paramount. It is the gateway to your content, the first impression that can make or break the reader's interest. It sets the stage for everything that follows. A well-crafted introduction not only grabs attention, but also provides a roadmap for the reader, guiding them through the narrative or argument you are about to present. Conversely, a weak introduction can lose your reader before they even begin. Imagine picking up a book or clicking on an article, only to be met with a dull, uninspiring opening. Chances are you wouldn't continue reading. Think about the last time you were captivated by a book or article. What was it about the beginning that drew you in? Was it a compelling story, an intriguing fact, or a provocative question? A good introduction should pique your reader's interest. It should make them curious, eager to know more. It should also give them a glimpse of what's to come, setting expectations and building anticipation. A strong introduction is like a promise to the reader. It says, keep reading, you won't be disappointed. It assures them that their time and attention will be well spent. Crafting such an introduction requires thought and effort. It's not just about throwing in a catchy phrase or an interesting fact. It's about understanding your audience and what will resonate with them. It's about setting the tone for your content and providing a clear direction. It's about making a connection with your reader from the very first sentence. So how do you craft an introduction that is both engaging and informative? How do you ensure that your opening lines are compelling enough to draw your reader in and keep them hooked? The key lies in understanding the purpose of your introduction and the needs of your audience. It's about striking the right balance between being informative and engaging, between providing context and sparking curiosity. Let's explore this in the next section, where we will delve deeper into the techniques and strategies for crafting powerful introductions that captivate and inform. Section 2. Setting the Stage Imagine you are watching a movie. The opening scene is crucial, right? It sets the tone, introduces the characters, and hints at the plot. The same goes for writing. Your introduction is the opening scene of your written piece. It sets the stage for what's to follow. It should create an expectation in the reader's mind. What kind of journey are you taking them on? A well-crafted introduction aligns the reader's expectations with your writing's purpose. It creates a smooth and logical flow from the start. How do you make your readers feel like active participants in this journey? Let's find out. Section 3. Engaging your audience. Imagine asking a friend, remember that time when instantly you have their attention. This simple question brings back memories and emotions, making the conversation lively and engaging. Why? Because questions engage us. They make us think and want to know more. They spark curiosity and create a connection between the speaker and the listener. The same principle applies to writing. Using rhetorical questions in your introductions is a powerful tool. It grabs the reader's attention and makes them want to continue reading to find the answers. It makes your writing more engaging and conversational. When readers feel like they are part of a dialogue, they are more likely to stay interested and invested in your content. Start your introduction with a question related to your topic. This technique not only hooks the reader, but also sets the stage for the information you are about to present. For example, if you're writing about the importance of sleep, you could ask, do you ever feel like you're running on fumes? This question immediately resonates with anyone who has experienced fatigue, making them eager to read on and find solutions. See how that draws the reader in. It creates a sense of empathy and understanding, making the reader feel seen and heard. Now that we've explored engagement, let's look at different types of introductions you can use. From anecdotes and quotes to startling statistics and vivid descriptions, there are numerous ways to captivate your audience right from the start. Each method has its own unique way of drawing readers in and keeping them hooked. So, experiment with different styles and find what works best for your content and audience. Section 4. Types of Intros Just like there are different types of stories to tell, there are different ways to begin them. The type of introduction you choose depends on your content and your audience. Are you writing a formal essay? Perhaps a thought-provoking quote would be fitting. 
writing a light-hearted blog post? Maybe a humorous anecdote is the way to go. The key is to choose an introduction style that aligns with your overall tone and purpose. It should feel natural and entice the reader to continue. But how do you make that first line irresistible? Let's delve into the art of the hook. Section 5. The art of the hook. Think of your favorite song. It probably grabs your attention from the first note, right? That's the hook. In writing, your opening line is your hook. It needs to be captivating. A strong hook can be a startling statistic, a bold statement, or a vivid description. It should create intrigue and make the reader eager to learn more. Experiment with different types of hooks. See what resonates best with your writing style and target audience. Remember, a good hook sets the tone and promises a compelling read. But how do you keep that promise throughout the introduction? Section 6. Intriguing your readers. You've hooked your reader. This is a crucial moment in your writing journey. Now, you need to hold their attention. Keeping your readers engaged is an art that requires a delicate balance of information and intrigue. Create suspense by hinting at what's to come without giving away too much. This technique keeps your readers on the edge of their seats, eager to turn the page. Think of a movie trailer. It's a perfect example of how to tease your audience. It shows the most exciting parts, but leaves you wanting more. This is exactly what you should aim for in your writing. Use your introduction to pique the reader's curiosity. Start with a compelling hook that draws them in immediately. Pose questions that you'll answer in the following sections. These questions should be thought-provoking and relevant to your topic. This creates a natural flow and keeps the reader engaged. By setting up questions early, you give your readers a reason to keep reading. Remember, the goal is to make your readers feel like they're on a journey, a journey filled with discoveries and insights. Each sentence should lead them further down the path of your story. Make sure every word counts and contributes to the overall narrative. How do you ensure this journey is smooth and enjoyable? By carefully crafting your narrative, paying attention to pacing, and ensuring that each section seamlessly transitions to the next. Edit ruthlessly. Remove any unnecessary details that might distract or bore your readers. Keep your writing concise and to the point. Engage with your readers. Think about what they want to know and how you can provide that information in an interesting way. By following these tips, you'll not only intrigue your readers, but also keep them coming back for more. Happy writing! Section 7. Clarity and Conciseness While it's important to be engaging, don't sacrifice clarity for the sake of a fancy introduction. Your readers should immediately understand what your piece is about. Use clear and concise language. Avoid jargon or overly complex sentences, especially in the beginning. Remember, a confused reader is a reader lost. Think of your introduction as a roadmap. It should clearly guide the reader toward the heart of your writing. Speaking of guidance, how do you transition smoothly from your captivating introduction to the main content? Section 8. Transitioning smoothly. Imagine reading an introduction that abruptly ends, leaving you feeling lost. Not ideal, right? That's why a smooth transition is crucial. Your introduction should naturally flow into the rest of your piece. The final sentence should create a bridge to the next section. You can achieve this by summarizing the main points your introduction raises, or you can end with a question that the following section will answer. A seamless transition ensures that your reader stays engaged and eager to explore further. But remember, mastering the art of introductions takes practice. Section 9 the power of practice. Like any skill, writing captivating introductions takes practice. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. Write multiple introductions for the same piece. Try different hooks, tones, and lengths. Read them out loud and see which one flows best and captures your attention. The more you practice, the easier it will become to craft introductions that hook your readers and leave them wanting more. Now that you have the tools, it's time to put them into action. Section 10. Call to action. You've learned the importance of a strong introduction. You've explored different types and techniques. Now, it's your turn. 
Open up your notebook or start a new document. Think of a topic you're passionate about. Now, craft an introduction that will captivate your readers from the first line. Remember the tips and tricks we've discussed. Use strong hooks, engage your audience and transition smoothly. The power to write captivating introductions is in your hands. Start practicing today and watch your writing soar.